charge of technology for the company. All right. So your your background is in tech. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, your background is in is in real estate. Uh, I've mm -hmm. been there for the last uh, ten years and mm. counting. Okay. So yes. two uh, great brains come together, and yes, this is how Silco was. Uh, was born, yeah. So it's real estate and, and technology. Tech. technology. Yeah. All right. So in tell us how you started. You you actually explaining <coughs> to me just right. before the show began in simple terms how you're solving a problem yeah. Yeah. in the real estate yeah. sector. So yeah, yeah. tell us. About okay, good. Um, allow me to just take you back a bit so that you get to understand. Uh, any investor or any person coming into the real estate space, you're coming into you know real estate with either one of the two mindsets. Mm -hmm. You're either doing it as an investment or, the, or you're either doing it uh, for capital gain mm -hmm. to actually get uh, some extra income. So if you're doing it for the income, you are directly going into the rental space. Mm -hmm. And coming into the rental space, mm -hmm. well, most of us think it's as easy as ABC, where you've just bought land, you've built your apartments, mm -hmm. you get your tenants, and then you're getting money as passive income, and then you're happy. But it does not work out like that. Uh, there are a couple of factors that you need to put into consideration before you actually go into the real estate space. One, how are you actually going to manage this unit? How are you going to get the tenants? How are you going to advertise uh, this rental property? Mm -hmm. uh, and most importantly, how are your tenants going to pay? And how are you going to see all these payments? And for a long time, um, if you're not doing it yourself, mm -hmm. you will either subcontract these services from professionals. These are either property management companies mm -hmm. or agents. Or you get a relative. And we all know how the story with relatives <laughs> is. No, sure. Asubui. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're yeah. actually doing this for someone else. Mm. Um, if you go the property management way, so mm. these are corporate companies, and again, you'll not get that satisfaction. You'll not get that service, especially if you own one unit, let's say in Dandora or, or Madare. Mm. Because their priority, truth be told, is you know, Kilimani and the uptown market uh, with yeah. people who have a thousand units. Mm -hmm. So where do you go as a new landlord? We have an answer for you today. Okay, yeah. we are looking forward to get <laughs> to that answer. I believe Ronald will explain how now you're coming in with tech to help the sector. Yeah, yeah so basically with the problems which my colleague Brahman has explained, mm -hmm. we looked at the problems which are there in the market and we yeah. came up with a solution. With a background in IT, I was able to come up with a solution with, um, with ideas on how to solve the solution. Mm -hmm. And then in collaboration with the experience in uh, the real estate sector, mm -hmm. we came up with a solution whereby once you invest in the property, we give you technology. So we, we, we now bring technology to your unit. You're able to, number one, get tenants into the platform. Number two, manage the payments, mm -hmm. manage to see the transactions, invoice them, build them automatically, see everything that is happening, get your money into the bank, give the tenant a receipt in real time, and also, at the same time, advertise your <coughs> units once they become vacant. Also, we enhance the communication between the two. Remember, one of the biggest conflicts between a landlord and a tenant mm -hmm. is communication. Exactly. Because now, Nyumba Imeja, what is next? Mm -hmm. You have to talk. Yeah. You, you need to get your money, you need to pay. Mm -hmm. So the issue we are having is communication is very key. <coughs> so you need to send a message to the landlord. Tell them, okay, my water is leaking. Mm -hmm. What next? And you also need to track that issue. If you send him, maybe he's, uh, he's in the matatu or he's in the, in the office, uh, what's up, he'll just forget about it. But yeah. if there is a, we, we have a tracker just to mm. follow through the issues. Okay. So in a way, we enhance now that relationship. Make it better. Mm -hmm. Make uh, the landlord know who is in their houses, yes. how much they are paying, how much they've paid, how much money they've made. Mm -hmm. We actually give him a transactional report he can take to a bank and they are you a loan. Ah, <laughs> okay, this is quite interesting. And now, where does the caretaker come in? You know, now you have come into the, the space, and now you know we have a direct relationship, tenant, landlord, caretaker. Yes. katikati when you are nakujang kugonga kwa mlango. Now, wh what do they do now? Caretaker, sasa, we just minimize their job, make mm -hmm. their job very easy. Their job is one to make sure the premise is very clean. Mm -hmm. Number two, to make sure that. Yeah, um, when you pay when you pay your rent, they can explain to you the process in case you mm -hmm. are a new tenant, in case you don't know. Also, number three, what they also need to do 
is to also make sure that um, the place the place is cleaned mm -hmm. and um, and also when they come security is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just minimize their job to make sure just look oh. at my apartment in case there's something happening, in case yeah. there, are, there are thugs coming, make sure you do that. But in terms <laughs> of payments, in terms and of relationship, in terms of communication, we are, we are good to go. Okay, so yeah. basically they won't be knocking on your door to ask for receipts, telling, you know, you <laughs> he was saying, <laughs> reminding you when you want to hammer, reminding you you need to provide a receipt for 2019 and yeah. <laughs> it's 2022. <Yeah. laughs> so now what problem, how would you say this is better, you know, from the system that yeah. we are used to? Okay, um, so again, traditionally, uh, how we do it nowadays, mm. you pay your rent either via an agent or mm. via M-Pesa, or you go to a bank queue, mm. uh, and then now that payment slip, you take it back to your caretaker, right? Mm. And then you're issued with a receipt. Um, so first of, you know, you, we've transformed our caretakers to accountants. Oh, and, yeah. you know, they stop their daily duties to now make sure that they know who has paid what, where, what time. And, and, and there comes a challenge when people pay in mm -hmm. installments. Like, for instance, you give him 5,000 cash, and then Kesho, you pay 2,000 via M-Pesa. <coughs> and then uh, after a week, you give him, you, you know, you, you deposit 3,000 via bank. Mm -hmm. So it, it becomes a bit of a conflict for him to actually be able to consolidate all these payments. Okay. Uh, we are simplifying all this because now with our system, these mm -hmm. transactions are recorded uh, on your statements, both from the tenant side mm -hmm. and from the landlord side. And they are accessible to you at any given time. So mm -hmm. we've made sure that we have developed this system in a way anybody, even using uh, Mulikamwizi, mm -hmm. you're able to access it via USSD, you know, the normal star yeah. 544, you know, yeah. how we buy our airtime. Mm -hmm. um, so the other channel we have is a mobile app. Uh, so if you have a smartphone, you download uh, the app called Silku on Play Store. Mm -hmm. And then the channel is, is, is a web, uh, so that is www.silco.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also, this brain here is also developing a telegram bot, so you can actually chat mm -hmm. uh, you, with a bot and you pay your rent. Oh, oh I would uh, please expound <laughs> on the telegram <laughs> bot. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Um, um, I don't know if you've used Safari Komzuri. Mm -hmm. So it's an automated feature where instead of talking to someone, you're talking to the machine and it gives uh -huh. you commands. Yeah. So it will ask you what you want it to do today. Mm -hmm. You want to pay your rent, you want to see your balances, you want to see your statements, you want to see your receipts for the last one year. Mm -hmm. You want to communicate to your landlord, you want to raise a ticket, you want to move out. Actually, we <coughs> give you the option to give a vacation notice. Mm -hmm. So you now you don't have to have an issue when you're vacating. Oh, my deposit has not been, uh, refunded. Why? Yeah. You see, Kupiana notice, we have a record. You gave a notice at this specific time. We actually send you an official confirmation. Mm -hmm. And also confirm with the owner that you're moving out. So all those things, you can just chat with something, with a bot. Mm -hmm. On the Telegram, on your WhatsApp, and poof, you're good to go. Yeah. So it's <coughs> we're just okay. making the process seamless. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. make techno everything which is available on the tech part, mm -hmm. bring it to the property part. Ah. Because there's, there's been a huge gap between okay. the two. Okay, and what are some of the areas that also you are applying tech into uh, your company in to help the real estate sector? Uh, soon uh, we'll be paying using blockchain <laughs> technology. Mm -hmm. We are looking at making um, things like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of them available on our platform where you can pay through any form of payment. So you don't have mm -hmm. an excuse to give the land. And then we also give the opportunity to tenants to pay in bits. Mm -hmm. okay. poly, especially after COVID. We noticed most people, they lost their jobs. Yeah. Most people in the Juakali sector. Mm -hmm. These people, they earn 500 a day. Say, for example, Raida, they make 500 shillings mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. Why can't they just pay 300 shillings for rent and, and they have 200 shillings at the end of the day? Wow. So one of the things it does, it reduces default in terms of rent. Mm -hmm. We actually have a scenario where somebody was not able to pay rent because he was a daily mm -hmm. uh, customer who made, made money daily. So we told the landlord, why don't you try out our solution? And you can imagine, yeah. within a month, he had actually offset almost two months' rent. Mm -hmm. Because the guy was getting 100 shillings an acre, 200 an acre, 300 an acre. Mm -hmm. Guess what? At the end of the month, 300 is 9,000 a month. Mm. Wow. Amazing. And this guy's thing yeah. a house of 4,000. <coughs> so you're really helping, you know, the common one. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, exactly. I'm believing that uh, you're not just taking the high-end customers, you're also accommodating, you know, 
any any uh, any yeah. you know any space. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you yeah. know, both the low income earners, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the middle level, yeah. and the high end. Yeah, uh, I think we were having a conversation earlier on. Um, mm. The, the solutions currently in the market uh, would concentrate on the high-end market, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so any new investor with your one unit in, in Dandora, well, you have very limited options. And, you know, you are inclined to actually go to what you call DIY, do-it-yourself or mm. self-landloading. So self-landloading is either you do it yourself. Everything we've mentioned, this as a headache, it comes to you directly. Um, we wanted mm -hmm. to build a solution that can actually accommodate any new landlord with one unit mm -hmm. or even an established um, landlord or a property management company with a thousand or ten thousand units. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can handle as much as probably ten million uh, worth of transaction in a month, and of course, mm -hmm. you know, it could be higher. Uh, so the solution we are building will give you the same satisfaction whether you have one unit or. 10,000 units. And we actually built for the mass market. Uh, so, you know, your Dandoras, your Kibera. Mm. Uh, we actually have units in all these areas. Uh, mm. Kayole, you so, know. So, if I come to your site and I check for a house, I'll get a house in Dandora, yes. in Buruburu, in Lavington, anywhere. Yes. So, we, we do have a marketplace uh, mm. in built in, in the website. Uh, and the marketplace is where we showcase available units. Uh, because, in terms of value adds, again, we don't want to stop uh, giving value from where you actually have paid your rent. Mm -hmm. But then again, you also want to move. So what happens? You either have to call a friend, hey, do you know someone who has a pickup, who has a lorry who can assist me move yeah. from A to B? Mm -hmm. uh, we want to also streamline that space as well. So what we are doing is we are, we, we have very interesting conversations with other service providers. You know, your fundies, movers, moving companies, mm -hmm. electricians, plumbers, all these people that you would need as a tenant. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is your electricity is faulty. Fantastic. Just log in. Raise a ticket, take a photo, and then that communication is spread within a millisecond to the relevant people. Mm -hmm. You get people responding to your inquiry. So you'll actually get to see who is closest to you, just like Uber, how it works. Mm -hmm. So you see a fundi, you click on that fundi, the profile will appear, how many years of experience, this is the company, and then we will also, so they'll come to see what's the problem, do a quotation, and then you advise them to proceed. The so same applies to also moving. Right. Mm. So now, uh, before you talk yes. on moving, so after uh, the funi comes in, who do, who do you send the quotation to or you are the one to pay? So um, so what the funi will do, will come, evaluate what the problem is, mm -hmm. uh, and then now upload it on our back end what the quotation to fix this would be. Mm -hmm. And then now we communicate to you. So oh. fixing this electricity is going to cost you 1000 Okay. Do we proceed? Yes or no? So if it's a yes, we give them a green light to proceed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and uh, the moving bit? So the moving bit, it applies the same. Of course, you want to move. Um, you're able to see a couple of movers that we've vetted uh, mm -hmm. in the system who've checked out, who are credible and who are trustworthy. So you say you want to move from point A to point B. Um, mm -hmm. The people within that specific area will give a quotation of the same. Mm -hmm. You get to choose who's the cheapest or who's your favorite. Now, most importantly, after they've delivered their services, you as a tenant, you get to rate them. Uh -huh. How we do it so on Uber and... Yes, exactly. Mm. Okay. So think of exactly. Uber in real estate. In real estate. It's quite, mm. quite interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So now uh, you've also said that you recommend or you market uh, the property and yes. then you get the clients coming in. So how do you make sure you bring in the right people to these houses? Because maybe you can get someone who's <laughs> not paying rent actually for the first two months. Me helping me share. Yes. Uh, basically we do a um, kind of a credit scoring for them. Mm -hmm. So we do identity uh, verification for them. Remember you, when you come into a, an apartment, you give an ID. Mm -hmm. That ID we are able to verify that it belongs to you. Okay. So number two, what we do is once we give them, uh, we, we can check with the databases of guys like the government, mm -hmm. we, can, we access actually, we can access a uh, direct link to check mm -hmm. through IPRS. Uh, just to make sure that this is a genuine guy. We also do something called a scoring for them. When you pay late, mm -hmm. the system automatically deducts your score. Uh -huh. Tells you this is not a good guy. Mm -hmm. Based on their history. 
we're also looking at checking your CRB records mm. just for, <laughs> <laughs> okay. for the comfort of the landlord, mm -hmm. um, just to be able to tell them, okay, this guy has defaulted 10 loads. Mm. Do you think he's a good guy to be in your house? So the system has an algorithm, actually. We, we, we put a bit of uh, machine learning here just to be able to understand what kind of a character you are. Mm -hmm. Once uh, we link something, we look at you, we can actually look at your social media and tell you a lot about you. What oh. kind of a character you are. <laughs> <So> okay. <laughs> we are trying to bring in the aspect of machine learning uh -huh. and a bit of AI, um, and AI to make sure that we understand your characters from the point of payment, from the point of relationships, mm -hmm. in terms of what, how you're relating with, the, with other tenants, how you're relating with your landlord, mm -hmm. in terms of your complaints. All those things, they come up as, as modules into the platform to be able to give you a score of what kind of a person you are. And based on that score, we can actually tell this is a good person or this is a bad person. All right. mm. Another thing we're also looking at, your age also tells us a lot mm. in terms of your character. The age, how, how does age tell about the character? How the, whole, the older you become, mm -hmm. the better your character becomes. The more mature the you more are. The more mature yeah. you are. Okay. So basically if you have uh, mm. the young generation of 20s, mm. you're going to have a bit of issues in terms of money. But yeah. that's where we add more features into looking at the score mm -hmm. so that we don't just judge you based on your age. Because you have mm. people who are young who are very good. Mm -hmm. So we also put a lot of modules in terms of learning you as mm -hmm. a character and giving this landlord something mm -hmm. to rely on. And then when you vacate, yeah. You also allow now the owner or the, uh, the manager, the manager of the property to rate you and give a review. Uh -huh. So that you don't just move out and break everything yeah. and then you go to the next unit. Uh -huh. So the person you're going to next will just look at your reviews and you cannot mm. delete the reviews. Okay, he, it's he, permanent record. Yeah, this is a very dirty tenant, so it will just move with you. <laughs> across <laughs> and then they give you a score based from zero to ten mm -hmm. if you are very good you get 10 stars if you're bad you get one star okay so um now i'm getting that you're getting a lot of data of you uh you know the tenants data mm -hmm. so how are you uh, complying with data protection policy actually our data is encrypted mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that it's encrypted and then we also use keys which you can never find out who, who data belongs to but mm -hmm. we make sure we adhere to our privacy policies uh, based on the government yeah. Because you, number one, you have to accept our terms and conditions in terms of giving us the data. Mm -hmm. And then number two, we make sure that we don't share this data with anyone. Okay. Uh, for our policy states that this data belongs only to the owner. We, we can only see for the purposes of seeing, but we cannot share this with a third party mm -hmm. in terms of uh, selling the data or doing anything. Mm -hmm. So we adhere 100% to our policies of mm. the government. Okay. Yes. All right. So there was a story uh, Bram was telling me <laughs> earlier on of, uh, I don't know, which one between you two had, oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually, it's actually you, who had uh, stayed in a house for yeah. like a year before yes. the landlord realized mm. that you were living for free, not for free yeah. as in you were paying <laughs> the caretaker, <laughs> and not, uh, the, the money was not getting to him. Yes. Right. Uh, so I, I think uh, when I moved into my current unit, I got, mm. I got someone. You know, when you get to the gate, you, security will take you to an office. Mm -hmm. Then it's told, okay, these are the units. You can choose one. Mm -hmm. So I got one, and then um, I paid, actually. I, you pay a deposit and a rent. Mm -hmm. So I paid, and I moved in the following month. Fast forward a year later, yeah. um, I have a knock on the door. Hi, how? Unafanya nini hapa? I can see, kuna curtains. What are you doing here? Anashangai nyumba inafaya kwa vacants. I'm like, I've been here for the last one year. Have you been paying your rent? Yes, I have all the receipts. Here they are. Then the guy is just dumbfounded there. He's just wondering, what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being played in my own. <laughs> exactly. Then, I don't know, next he's telling me, get me a receipt of all the receipts you've been paying. And then it was manual then. Mm -hmm. So I, some of them, Nimetupa, got dust bin. Some of them, I don't remember where they... No, it's back to me how to prove mm. that I paid. Wow. So now, those are some of the problems that you aim to solve. We, we actually, we saw uh, this gentleman yeah. some few months back on, on national television who mm -hmm. was arraigned in court, mm -hmm. uh, who was sending the landlord. And we, we do know, we do know someone who does that to date. We'll not mention them on national <laughs> television. <laughs> 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 uh, so, so, so the landlord has a caposho mill somewhere. Mm -hmm. The landlord is also selling some motorbikes somewhere. Yeah. And all these funds are going into one account. So Jama Kakwa Smart. So yeah, yeah, he sends a landlord a fake M-Pesa. Mm. 
Wow. And the landlord never checks because, you know, cash is trickling in. Wow. And to date, so this guy was arraigned in court, um, having stayed, you know, having paid fake uh, money for 12 months. For 12, a whole year. For a so whole year. I'm, I'm trying to understand, how does the landlord not know if you're not paying rent? Well, think of it this way. If you have multiple sources of income going mm -hmm. to one account, uh, it's very hard for you to go and find out one transaction. Yeah. And, and, and the resources available now, if you go to Safaricom asking for a statement, they'll give you a whole lot of statements from, mm -hmm. from last year. Yeah. And to find that one transaction will take hours. Yeah. And with our system, it's as easy as actually going mm -hmm. to the date range that specific date that you know your tenant has said i paid that specific time you can narrow it down to a very very specific time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if the transaction was done at two you can actually choose that which one ah. and, and, and just to add on that eh, mm -hmm. imagine uh you a spare in your makima and then you see you when you pay things for spares it's like a thousand transactions a day mm -hmm. So if somebody pays to your account, for you to ever find out who paid what, it's like it's next to impossible. Mm. Mm. So they take advantage of that. Another thing, you find someone has 100 units. Someone pays day to one, another one pays day 26. Yeah. You'll never <laughs> find out. It's hard to track. Yeah. You'll yeah. never Very find hard. out. Uh -huh. Unless you spend, I think, 20 days in the month <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> out who pays what. <laughs> yeah, okay, interesting. Yes. So is this where you see uh, real estate going, the future of real estate? Uh, basically, we'll, uh, what we are looking at, what we are seeing now, mm -hmm. is most people are looking into the enhancement of technology. You remember now with the things like uh, Google. Mm -hmm. Google have come up with technologies which can tell you, like now when we are coming, that there's traffic. Uh, yeah. So based on their models, movement of cars, so they look at the movement of cars using satellites, yeah. and being able to predict that there's a traffic jump. Mm -hmm. So it will tell you to avoid that traffic. So we are look also looking at bringing technology to the real estate. You come tell us, I want a, um, a, an apart two bedroom apartment with um, open kitchen with mm -hmm. ABCD. The system automatically mm -hmm. searches through the photos available in the system and tells you these are possible matches for you. Mm -hmm. These are things which might interest you based yeah. on your preferences, mm -hmm. your settings. So we look, so we'll see most people going into technology. Uh, better better ways to to make your life easy. Yeah. And speaking of house ha hunting, I, I know there's a VR technology where you can just uh, mm -hmm. wear the VR set uh -huh, yes. and then uh -huh. tour around the house. Is this something that you you're open to? You know, incorporating. I mean, definitely. Um, you know, we don't also have very good stories with available agents. You know, mm -hmm. there are so many people that have been conned, pay for this house, and you go find combata, I exist. Exactly. Right? Uh, so if we can bring that technology to the comfort of your office, or mm -hmm. even in a studio, you know, just log mm -hmm. in, get to walk into a bedroom virtually, definitely. Virtually, yes. Uh, and then uh, after you've seen the house, now we mm -hmm. can actually call you know, connect you to the landlord directly, again, using technology. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of payments, one, it becomes very secured. Uh, it's more or less like an escrow uh, paying through our system. Mm -hmm. So someone is held accountable, you mm -hmm. know, and you have the satisfaction of, I'm actually, I can trust these guys. You know, that's where Silk wants to, to, to go with what we are doing. Okay. And we also, we, you know, we want to change this mindset of, uh, investors who want to come into the real estate space. So it's very difficult for them to actually get that trusted partner. Because mm -hmm. you know, even families, you know, we have stories. Yeah. What happens when you invest in real estate and you're in the diaspora? Yeah, you I'll, know, I'll let not you, sure, that's, not a sure <laughs> that's a whole show. That's a whole show in the whole morning, show. right? Yeah. Um, and it becomes very difficult for you to find that person that you can actually trust. So we do have so many landlords in the diaspora, by the way, and they get to monitor everything. If a tenant moves in right now, the mm. system automatically tells you mm -hmm. because you're able to monitor occupancy. And it, this, everything is in real time. Everything is in real time. Occupancy, okay. you get a notification. Mm -hmm. You can actually predict your revenue for the next three, four, five months. Mm -hmm. And we do have a few landlords who, as we are speaking right now, are doing a foundation for a new building. Why? Because you've made it easier for made them. Made it easier because this guy is already doing over a hundred percent collection. Mm -hmm. There's a new building. How so? You've said over a hundred percent collection, yes. and I, I, I heard you say in another interview that yeah. uh, 
the previously landlords were having 50 percent yes yes so how, how you know i'm thinking it's a big difference so right. what how <laughs> does how does that come about yeah, so um before i answer that let's look at the reasons why you're doing 50 percent mm -hmm. um you know you've put your rent as twenty thousand, right mm -hmm. um and you found tenants and what's happening right now the cost of living is extremely high so you have good tenants who probably have been paying consistently for the last four or five years. But for the few months back, they're unable to pay their rent. And you're asking for the same 20000 now. Wow. So pay now or move out. Mm -mm. Um, what we are doing with our system is, and he's mentioned this, it enables these people to actually Lipa in bits. Lip in bits. And it's making it easier for the tenant because remember this is a guy probably who's in the informal sector. He's getting his 1,000 daily or 500 shillings daily. So now it's easier for him to continue paying his rent in bits. At the end of the month, he's already paid his 20,000. What that will do, it will increase the, the collections for mm -hmm. the landlord. Because as a landlord, you don't want to be chasing people and locking people and auctioning people. Every, every now and mm -hmm. then. That's not your job. Your job is to collect your money simply. Right? Mm -hmm. I think there's a quote we use is, you've spent so much in building this apartment. Why are you spending so much in collecting it with all the threads? Oh, uh, ndakuzimia steam, ndakuzimia maji, ndakufungia. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the collections move and we, we actually give uh, our landlords a turnaround of three months. Mm -hmm. And the least apartment, the least house you're collecting is almost at 80, 90%. Mm -hmm. There are some we surpass to 110%. Wow. Percent. Okay, quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, as we come to a close, uh, yeah. uh, you can remind us, Ronald, where uh, you know people can find you and uh, your website. Um, our website is uh, www.silku.com. Mm -hmm. um, our um, e email is info at silku.com. You can actually call us at uh, 0717-888828. Mm -hmm. um, you can also find us on social media. Uh, we are on Facebook. Um, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on TikTok. Ah, okay. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> so, the Silku, Silku official, I'm a Silku for, 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 for some. Yeah. Mm. So, um, you, can, you can always call us anytime during the day or night. You can WhatsApp us. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find all the details from our website. Yeah. All right. Finally, uh, uh, not Ronald Bramwell, you can have the final say for maybe an innovator, a young innovator yeah. who, have, ha who has an idea. So any encouragement to them? This is your camera. Uh, just start, okay? You have an idea. An idea will always be an idea uh, until you start. Start, start trembling. Uh, start with you know your legs shaking but start uh, there are so many opportunities but it's so easy you know you have to consistently put in the effort you have to consistently put in the work however just start uh, and, and you know work with the end goal and, and and I think one of the things that we are also doing is empower your team let let your team see the vision let you see your team see the dream uh, mm -hmm. so that you work together and of course, you're going to be successful. Yeah? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Uh, just start. That is my take home from it. Just, just start. start. Yes. Thank you. But very of course, it's a character development, but just start. Just, but just start. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you very much for coming on board and sharing you know, some thank of the things that us. are happening in the real uh, yeah. estate in terms of tech advancement. Yeah. So that has been Bramwell and Ronald talking to us about tech and real estate. They are co-founders of... Uh, uh, Silku, uh, you can find that on their social hand, uh, social pages as they've mentioned. Uh, now we take a short break and then Valentine will be back with some great entertainment. <laughs>